Reddit, what was the worst party you ever attended? Was it yours? Someone else's? Mine was two Christmases ago. Few days before, for the party, all my friends said they'd be there. No one showed up, I sat alone for a while and kind of cried. I had thought I made friends, finally, but not one person showed, or even said they weren't going to show up. Eventually my brother and his friends dragged me out of there, and we had a great time. All dressed in cheesy sweaters, having a good time and getting smashed. All ended well. What's your story? Went to a party once. It was 12 dudes playing Magic the Gathering, and one passed out drunk chick. Also, I always feel weird when I walk into a party and I'm the only black guy there. Every time everyone stops what they're doing and stares at me for 2-3 horrible seconds. I will walk through the back door to avoid this, but wait, duck I just segregated myself. That wasn't a party, it was a gathering. Um, maybe this was my worst party. I was working at a crappy company a long time ago in December, and we found out suddenly that our whole division was getting laid off, like literally days before it happened. So... Most of us knew it was happening a day before the year-end party, which would be our last working day before holidays and then we wouldn't be coming back. So, we are all bummed, so then our manager comes in with a Christmas cake. He was going to be laid off too. And he says, so at least we should have a cake to celebrate the season? So we all kind of agreed, with broken spirits. But he didn't have plates or spoons or knives or even napkins. So... We all literally just had to scoop out a bit of cake with our hands, and just eat it. All the while, a cloud of sadness hanging over us. Was quite depressing. About a year ago, I went back home to visit my parents and some old friends. It all went well, except for the night a friend and I went to goddamn Jeff's birthday party. Here is the setup, my friend and I have been shooting pool and trading pictures since noon. Hey, vacation. It is creeping up to 7.30 when my mom calls and asks if I wouldn't mind going to such and such as birthday, as a representative of the family because she is stuck at work and wants someone to go. I ask who it is and how old they are. My mom informs me that it is Caleb, and he is probably turning 21. I ask my friend at the bar, and we both agree that 21st parties usually equate in free booze for attendees, so why not? We walked to the liquor store and split a bottle of mid-shelf scotch for good ol' Caleb, whoever the hell he was, and an 18-pack for us. Drunk me decided that the easiest way to do a card was to have the cashier print off some blank receipt paper, and quickly scribble out, happy birthday from Derp family, and tape the ducker to the bottle. Good to go. We grab a cab to the address my mom had texted me, and roll right into this rager of a party. A rager of a fourth birthday party. It wasn't Caleb. Caleb didn't even live there anymore. It was ducking Jeff. We had already plopped our generous offering on the gift table by the front door, before we had walked into the party proper. So, here are two drunk dudes, armed with an opened case of beer, got thirsty in the cab, and we have just interrupted duck, duck, goddamn goose. We left in such a panicked, drunk hurry we didn't even think about the scotch we had both dropped $18 on. We just got out as fast as we could, walked as fast as two drunks can for a couple blocks and called a cab. I got home to my mom laughing her ass off about the phone call she got from the family about the derp family's old choice and gift for a 4 year old. She apologized to me, and decided that she wouldn't choose me as a family representative for any future get togethers. That shit was weird. I had a friend from high school invite me and three other friends over for what he described as a party. We thought that it might be a small gamer party with some nerdy board games or something, as there were only the three of us plus him and his wife. His wife then proceeds to start an hour and a half presentation about Urban, and tries to sell female beauty products to a group of males between the ages of 19 and 22. I was astounded. TLER, friend invited a group of males to a party to try to sell us feminine beauty products and make us consultants. Reminds me of when I was around 16, and my parents got invited to a dinner party. Not only were their friends pushing them to buy Amway products, but their kids were trying to convince me to buy Amway products too. One of his sales pitches was, 
bro. Your mom will totally love the fact that your room is so clean and dust free, with the new Amway furniture polish. Amway is responsible for improving my dad's life. My dad was stuck at a dead end job at a crappy company. One day he got invited to a dinner party that turned out to be an Amway party. He realized, wow. My friends must really think I'm desperate if they're inviting me to Amway parties. So he went back to school and got his master's degree, and ended up with a great career. Years back I was at a pool party, by nightfall everyone was pretty wasted. One of the guests thought it would be funny to fill a Jägermeister bottle with Ipecac. And offer shots to the people in the pool. 12 or so people did the shots, and were so wasted that they didn't care that it tasted funny. A few minutes later it was a total puke fest in the pool. Kinda like that scene from Family Guy, but in water, so everyone was screaming and scrambling to get out as the pukes whirled around them. When I was in college, a pretty attractive girl in one of my classes asked me to a party. Turns out it was a, bring the ugliest guy, themed party. In her short-sightedness, she forgot that I was the curve setter in the class and that her source of notes and class details, was indirectly me. She failed a required class, and that threw her off a year. Who is laughing now? War. Great related story about my father-in-law. In college, his frat wanted to throw one of these pig parties. He spoke up against it, but they were going to have it anyway. In protest, he brought the winner of the Miss Kansas pageant as his date. This basically made all the other guys feel like the assholes they were. For fear of embarrassing themselves in front of an incredibly hot and popular girl, they never revealed the true reason for the party to any of the girls unfortunate enough to be their dates. On the day of my 16th birthday party, my parents made my friends leave before the cake was cut. Then they told me that they read my journal and busted me for smoking pot, which I outlined in the journal. I had to write an apology letter to Jesus. In high school my friend's parents read his journal. They railed on him about smoking pot and sleeping with three different girls and one guy in the same month. He got so outraged that the next day he had friends come over, and removed all the interior doors of the house and was walking around naked when his parents came home. He told them it was cool, and they shouldn't worry about it since there was no privacy in this house. They were pissed and kicked him out. But they never got their doors back. I was 17, went to a party, only knew a few people, got high, got drunk, way drunk, passed out next to my friend, Mr. Toilet. 5.30 am a cop is yanking me up off the floor. I'm still drunk, and cop is dragging me out of the bathroom, throws me on a sofa and tells me to stay there. 4 hours of people yelling at me, questioning me, threatening me, and later the cop takes me to the police station for underage drinking and suspicion of rape. Seems a 14 or 15 year old girl from down the street was at the party, and went missing that night, her dad was out looking for her, asked some guys smoking outside if they had seen her, they said they had, but that she left. The dad goes home, calls the police, then goes downstairs and sees his daughter on the sofa passed out, nude except for my goddamn t-shirt. I was wearing two t-shirts, took one off when I got there, because it was hot as hell. It turned out she had sex that night, but couldn't remember with who. Cops assumed it was with me, because of my shirt, but I was nowhere near her, didn't have sex with anyone that night, spent most of it curled up on the bathroom floor with a towel for a blanket. My passed out in the bathroom alibi was witnessed by a ton of people. Fortunately, the guy who did have sex with her came forward, and cleared me. He was 16, not sure what, if anything happened, doubt it though cause it was the late 80s, when people didn't get bent out of shape quite like they do now. I found out weeks later that the girl had a crush on me, and told her parents and the cops it was me at first, so, I'm sure that didn't help my cause. Even though I did nothing, and was cleared of everything. The neighborhood still acted like I was a rapist. Damn suburbs. I went to formal, and I had a really awkward date. She started off in the beginning lecturing me about endangered free range cows. Then started asking me random questions like, what brand of sandals do you prefer? Then she got into a religious argument with a kid who was Muslim, and claiming that he is worshipping a false god. Then, when I finally got her to come dance with me, 
she sprained her ankle. Definitely a keeper there. My 18th birthday party. Crazy X had just about disassociated me from any of my remaining friends I had. Long story, but they were so sick and tired of her bullshit, and me sticking up for her as I was blindly in love, they wanted no more to do with us. Yet then she decided to add salt to the wound, by inviting them all round to my 18th birthday party at her place. She sorted out a load of food, cakes, etc, and music. But of course none of my now ex-friends were going to make any effort to go around to a psycho's house for a party. So, as you can imagine my 18th birthday party was her telling me, see, you call them friends? They don't even come on your 18th birthday party, just because they don't like me. She later admitted and confirmed my suspicion that she fabricated the whole thing on purpose, in order to make me realize that I had no one in my life other than her, and as such was unable to leave her. Had a surprise party where the guest of honor never showed up. The key step of making sure he is driven there at the appropriate time was not covered. His wife just assumed he'd be home at a certain time from a business dinner. Also, at the appropriated time, she had us waiting and hiding in the dark for close to a half hour before people just got pissed and started going home. Why not just go, duck it, let's party. Weird. I think everyone was just pissed off at the wife, because she had orchestrated the event so poorly. Bad enough that she didn't arrange to actually have her husband get there, but then she had us all crouched quietly in the dark for over half an hour, snapping shat anyone as if her husband was right outside. I guess she'd only ever seen surprise parties on TV. Second worst party, my own 18th birthday. My mother thought it would be funny to have everyone dine in ash, sticking me with a bill, when I went to the bathroom. Then when I got home. The locks had been changed and all my personal stuff had been bagged up in garbage bags and thrown out across the street. That was really awesome. The joke was that since I was an adult I could pay my own way in the world from now on. Edit, the bill was something like $150, which was a lot for me at the time. Edit 2, I didn't drive, so, when they did the diner nash I had to walk to a bank to get the money, then walk back, then walk home. A few weeks ago, I went to a bonfire party at a friend's house. I was drinking a beer, and playing some cornhole. I had set my beer down for just a few seconds, to throw the cornhole bag. After I throw it, I drink my beer again. Suddenly, I start feeling dizzy. I figure something's up, so, I quickly leave the party and drive to my friend's house just a few blocks away. He comes out of his house, and by that time, I'm losing it. I tell him that I think someone put something in my drink. So, he takes me to another friend's house to watch over me. On the way there, I am freaking out, because he's driving my car at 25 miles per hour, and I feel like it's freaking warp speed. I feel absolutely numb all over my body, and keep trying to feel my face to see if it's there. My eyes feel like they are 10 times the normal size and I feel like I'm on a roller coaster and being sucked through a black hole at the same time. We get to the friend's house, and go inside. They give me some water and watch over me, while I pass out. I wake up a few hours later, feeling a little better. They take me home, and I go to bed. The next day, I feel completely stupid all day, unable to think clearly or remember much of the previous night. TLDR, went to party, got drugged, freaked out, had friends help me recover, 